good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I know you guys have not seen my face in a very long time. For y'all who don't know me, my name is Derek Cooper. So today, I'm actually gonna be showing you guys a little update of my hair wash or my wash day routine, uh, the products that I use and everything. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into the video, all right? All right, so y'all can tell I'm obviously in the shower right now. As you see, I'm just wetting my hair with some water. Uh, the first part I'm going to be using is this Argan Oreo shampoo right here. When it comes to me using shampoo, I don't like to lot of my hair all over with shampoo. I mainly just focus on the scalp, just trying to get my scalp clean. Once that's all said and done, you guys, go ahead and rinse all the shampoo out your hair. And once you rinse all the shampoo out your hair, what I like to do, I like to call this finger detangling. So I literally just take my fingers and detangle my hair. I kind of just rake through my hair and everything like that. That's that's really what finger detangling is. Next, I want to take this conditioner right here. Curl and shine conditioner, of course, coconut hickabies. This is fire. I've been using this since I had waves, and it's good for waves, and it's good for curls. And I'm not going to stop using it. I don't use Camellia Rose. I don't use Vials, and nothing has worked, but this is still the GOAT for me. Once I'm finished, I like to actually evenly spread the conditioner, so that's why you see me shaking my hair all crazy like, like I'm a rock star or some shit. But this is literally how I evenly disperse the conditioner throughout my hair, man. And why lie? I know y'all see them curls, but two curls, man. Don't tell me you don't see them curls. Look at that. Look at that. Once I evenly disperse the conditioner throughout my hair, I go ahead and take a shower cap. I go ahead and sit underneath a dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to be right back at you guys. All right, y'all, so I just got done basically washing half of the conditioner out after I sat underneath a dryer. I can see kind of how my hair is when it's kind of curled up a little bit. But we're going to try to make this a little bit better by adding our moisturizer and the other product into the, uh, to my hair. I'm probably going to be using gel today, honestly, because I am going out with lettuce, so I do want my hair to be a little more, you know, a little more curlier. Moisturizers, I'm going to use the other curls today. I'm also gonna be using this little spray water bottle to keep my hair moist. When you do your hair and you wanna apply like products and everything, you have to make sure your hair is wet. Water is the most hydrating thing that your hair can really have. So before you even try to apply any type of product to your hair, make sure your, your hair is like saturated, saturated with water if you want the best results with your, um, with your hair. So, but that be saying, I'm gonna do my hair. Y'all just watch the process of how I do it. All right, enough talking. Y'all just watch. I'm gonna speed it up. process for me honestly bro usually is still don't need to really fully sit here and text my hair off happy about that but this is how it looks with the moisturizer in it if i wanted to i could just leave my hair like this with just moisturizing but like i said i want a little more mm, to my curls today so i will be adding a little bit of gel to my hair and after i add this little gel to my hair then that's when i start doing the little shaving method about at least Two quarter sizes of gel, I would say, that I used. Literally just insane. So I'm gonna slow it down for you guys real quick so I can show you guys what I'm doing. So right here, I'm literally just taking one little curl and I'm taking it and I'm kind of doing like a finger curl, but instead it's not as dramatic as a finger curl. So it's just a quick little turn around of the hair, let go, and that's really it, man. I'm 
I'm gonna go let my hair dry for a little bit. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna show you guys the actual, you know, final results when my hair is actually dry. All right, so stay right there. Don't go nowhere because I'm gonna be back in five, four, three, two. Okay, y'all. So here we are with the final product right here, man. This is how we looking. Um, let's try to back out for y'all. Let's try to get closer like this. Still not fully dry yet. I didn't really want to wait. Oh, it's fully dry because I'm about to leave right now. I'm about to leave the house and everything. So y'all can see how it came out. So I'm looking. And the side too. For some, I think like for my actual hair journey, like I think it's been like a cool nine months. It's been nine months since I've been going out my hair, since I transitioned from waves to curly, curly hair. And I'm gonna be honest, I love the way it came. I definitely love the way it came, but it is a lot of work keeping up with long hair. I'll let y'all know that right now. It's definitely a lot of work. It's a lot of work, man. I'm gonna let you know that. And if you're not the person that really wants to keep up with your hair, around maybe every single, every single day, uh, still do it. You might like it, you might turn around and actually do it. You might change your habits, who knows? I don't know. But, um, that concludes my video for today, you guys. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, man. Go ahead and do me, that's a good, solid favor. Also, if you guys like the video, go ahead and uh, hit the like button as well. If you guys have any future references of what you guys wanna see down in, uh, in the future, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section below. And like I said, my name is Derek Cooper. Thank you for watching my video. And with that being said, I'm out.